This workshop is about, um, it's organized by our collective, Squatting in Europe Collective, and it's an assemblage of researchers and activists and then activist researchers who are somehow fascinated or involved with the um, act of squatting or movements that are um, involved with squatting or movements that you know are, are trying to reach some kind of autonomous forms of living. Es un, un bon punt d'unió per, per poder lluitar contra, contra el que impera ara que, que està fent servir aquesta força acadèmica a les universitats i a la, i a la política. No? I si, si aquesta gent que, que lluita des de la part econòmica fa servir aquest privilegi cultural o, o aquesta diferència cultural que, que aprèn a l'acadèmia, la, la pot fer servir amb l'ajuda de, de les altres lluites socials. Bueno, yo empecé a estudiar la ocupación en el 2008-2009, eh, justamente cuando me estaba vinculando al Patio Maravillas, estaba dentro de la asamblea y del INFES, y conocí a Miguel por casualidad, yo estaba terminando Sociología, y la verdad es que poder eh, converger eh, dos ámbitos que me encantaban, que era tan, el estudio y el análisis, como el activismo, me parecía, o sea, lo veía como una especie, de, una especie de lujo, o sea, porque dos espacios que me apasionaban, pues los podía combinar. I uh, come from New York, I lived there 30 years, and I try to uh, maintain relations with uh, politically progressive artists in New York and art commissioning agencies like Creative Time, and try to connect these to the uh, social movement of squatting and uh, social centers uh, in Europe. So, yeah, I'm a connector, that's my, that's my skill. My particular focus is on police and police militarization. So to the extent that uh, squatting is about unpermitted uh, access to vacant spaces and therefore it implies violation of law, therefore implies the introduction of the police, um, I'm looking to develop uh, police within Squeak as a research object, a subject of research, so that we can deconstruct the police in order to better um, uh, reconstruct the society without them. Yeah, we published a map about uh, squatting in Berlin, about the history, and was quite powerful because uh, it got a lot of attention. Sure, there are some books about the his squatting history, but I mean, just with a map, you just see it directly with mm. one. You open the web page, you see mm. all the mm. icons, and it's just like that is impressing, and you could just see this in this graphical way. In Brighton, um, I was writing academically about the history of squatting in Brighton because I thought it was important to uh, bring this history alive, which is kind of hidden. Very much interacted with the local situation because then uh, we produced a zine which was about squatting in Brighton so that when people came to the latest social centre and, and said, What's going on here? So we to talk. Most people in Brighton tend to be receptive. And through the social centers, I connected with the migrant uh, groups and I could interview them. I mean, the moment I was in the detention center talking to them, looking at the plight and the vulnerability, helplessness of the migrants, I, I kind of felt like my struggles are way less than the struggles the illegalized migrants are facing on a day-to-day -day basis. It's kind of a slow death for them. So looking into those aspects, I don't really... I, uh, like it would be self-centric to fear about uh, my position, I feel, I don't know. <laughs> La investigación académica es útil en determinadas dimensiones de los movimientos sociales. Es útil desde un punto de vista más abstracto y que puedas entender y entenderte como activista dentro de, de, de un ámbito más amplio. Ahora bien, para tu, la dimensión cotidiana o dimensión de utilidad y de práctica, eh, a lo mejor las lecturas sobre eh, movimientos sociales no son las más prácticas. Pueden ser más prácticas, pues yo qué sé, eh, cosas que te hagan más fácil la vida cotidiana dentro de un centro social o dentro de una casa ocupada. Pero son dos tipos de conocimiento y no creo que estén eh, eh, entre en, en conflicto. Otra cosa es cómo los produces. Y a lo mejor para producir un conocimiento más práctico, posiblemente a lo mejor este no es el espacio. Para conocer, eh, producir un conocimiento más analítico, sí que creo que espacios como Squatting Europe pues, puede ser un espacio muy útil.